This is the answer lady here to talk to you today about succeeding with tuck stitch, particularly on a singer or studio machine, because that's what I'm going to demonstrate on. Tuck stitch has some challenges that stockinette does not, and we'll work through them together. Tuck stitch is a wonderful machine knitted fabric. This is the knit side of a basic tuck pattern. This is the same pattern on the purl side. It makes the fabric thicker, also shorter and wider than stockinette for the same number of rows. Because it's thicker, it makes wonderfully warm fabrics, even in standard gauge. And because it gets wider, it allows for the range of sizes to be greater. There are some tricks to succeeding with tuck. It's a little bit more challenging than stockinette fabric. And if you have your machine out of adjustment or a flimsy sponge bar or any number of small errors, they will show up more readily on tuck stitch than they will on stockinette. Now let's look at yarn choices. This turquoise yarn is a good choice, as is the pink yarn. These, at least one of them is Tam 3 ply Astrakrill. The other one is a similar yarn. Now this, which looks so close to the naked eye, is Tam um, Micro Tam. And actually, it has to be knitted at stitch size 9 or 10 on the studio machine. It is considerably thicker when everything is taken into account. If I stretch them, you may be able to see a little bit better. Therefore, this is a very poor choice for tucking because you don't want to use the thickest possible yarn and expect the machine to tuck it. That's putting two challenges together and it's too much. So your yarn choice makes a difference. A smooth yarn that's not too fuzzy and would normally lit at the middle of the dial is what you want. One thing we need to succeed with tuck stitch is a sponge bar in really good condition. You can't see the sponge bar but I know it's in good condition because these needles are pressed firmly down into the needle bit, so that's good. If you don't have enough claw weights to do a good job, you may want to check out my book, Cheap Tricks for Machine Knitters, which explains how to make some that are heavier and very versatile. Several things are required in order to succeed with tuck stitch. We're working here on a studio style machine Singers are just the same, and it has this patterning device right in the middle where the punch card reader is. That matters because we must make sure we go all the way past it with the carriage in order to get it to pattern correctly. We've already talked about needing a great sponge bar and checking to make sure these needles are not floppy. They're nice and firm, so that should be good. Also, even if you don't need much weight for your stocking net knitting, you're going to need significant weight for tuck stitch. Another thing you need to consider is stitch size. I have good results with this kind of yarn at stitch size 7. So that's where I'm setting the dial. Now, in order to memorize any pattern, we lock the card on the first row, bring this little lever forward, and knit across in stocking net. Now these drums have picked up the information and we're ready to go and knit whatever we want. Change this lever. You noticed all of those little teeth popped out. They're ready to feel for the next row. Change to the tuck setting on the dial. You couldn't see that. I'll move it over where you can. On this machine, there's the tuck setting. And start knitting. Now, I made a bad mistake that you might make, too. I did not mind the yarn supply, and I allowed a little loop to form. That is really from the management when you move to and fro across. So always make sure that the slack comes out of the yarn, even if you have to help it manually. If you have to do that very often, there's a problem in your tension mast, and you need to work on that. Knit all the way across to pass the patterning device. Now I have enough knitting on here. 
I really should add claw weights at the edges. They will help enormously getting a nice pattern. Okay, ready to go. Past the knitting and past the card reader. Past the knitting and past the card reader. Now start knitting at a pace that's moderate. Not too fast, not too slow. Give the needles a chance to respond. Don't rush them. And we're getting some nice tuck stitch here. If I was not getting nice tuck stitch, and I had done all this correctly, I would need to take a look at my sinker plate. Let's do that together. First of all, are these brushes down? Most of us find that it tucks better with the brushes down. And I didn't actually have that one of them down. And it did all right, but they should be down for most machines and most yarns. Also, these underneath brushes and wheels, if they don't spin freely, you may have a problem with tuck. This one does not spin freely. I should not try to do a whole garment with it. And I can see fuzz under there. So that's what I need to do is clean it out. This one's good. This one's good. This one's good. This one and this one. But this is sluggish. Very. So I need to clean that. Another thing that I know is that these plastic covers on these brushes, some people take them on off and I may do that. But if I don't, I need to replace them soon. I'm not sure if you can see on the film, but the edges are curling and they're going to create a problem. So your brushes, being in good condition, clean and well adjusted, are something to consider. Also, sometimes you need a little lubrication on the shaft of them. The weaving brush is down, enough weight, more than you need for stockinette, the correct setting on the dial, both ideal stitch size, and if you try with too tight or too loose a stitch, you may succeed for a little while and then fail. It does really matter what size stitch, so you might have to experiment. Also make sure it's set firmly on the tuck setting. Most of the time, these click directly into place. You can clearly see what setting it's in. But I have worked on machines where it was a little vague. See that one being fuzzy there? If I wasn't thinking hard about it, I might not get it right into the right place. I might think I had flipped it into the right place because it sort of stopped, but it wasn't really the right place. Of course, the cleanliness of the drums, which Jack has done on two other videos, makes a difference to whether the pattern is even read correctly at all. And then, one more point to remember, on this style of card reader, you must move your carriage all the way past the work and past the reader with every pass. When you do that, you get some great fabric. Have fun with your tuck.